Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Paul. Um, <clears throat> I figured it's time for an update on one of the semi-hydro group trays that I had created. One of them had all of the Hoyas in it. This is the Pothos collection. Um, these are a bunch of Pothos cuttings that I had put into either Lava Rock or Lekka and put them in a communal hydroponic tray of sorts. And what I normally do is you can see, I need to fill this up. There's hardly any water or nutrients in there. I usually fill it up about an inch with nutrients and water. And uh, I wanted to see how they would be doing long-term. A lot of people say, oh, you can't do that. Well, I did and you can. So the plants really started taking off. These cuttings have a lot of new growth. Um, as you can see, there was a little bit of a mealybug issue. That was some residue for mealybug, but I think I got it under control. A lot of times when the mealybugs do attack, they attack the new growth. And as you can see, they kind of um, distort the growth of, they damage the new growth. So when they, the leaves grow out, they kind of look wonky like this, but there are some others. Um, and yeah, so I have global green, neon, has a new leaf. Uh, what is this? It looks like a, oh, this is a jasenia, but it may be a, re a reverted jasenia because there's not a lot of yellow on there. Again, these are not completely like directly under lights, so it could just be low light situation. But, oh, I got mealy issue. Mealy issue right here. Gonna have to spray this one down. Um, then I have some glaciers. And I have, what is this one? Does this one have a label on it? This one, oh, this is, uh, I believe this is emerald, something like that. Anyway, and a, a Pinatum uh, blue, well, oh, not Baltic blue, Cebu blue. And yeah, so there's also a Trebuwai dark form here that is starting to really, I'm going to have to cut this back and start propping. This is the dark form um, skin dapsis. Uh, Trebuai, I think that's how you say it. So yeah, this one has grown a lot in semi-hydro. So as you can see, it's possible to group them all together. It makes it a lot easier. The only issue, of course, is the pests because, you know, they travel. But most people have their plants close to each other, even if they're not communally in a, in a setup like this. So, you know, things are going to travel. Things are going to move <laughs> and disperse. So it's easier that I could treat the whole tray together and kind of uh, maintain them that way. So anyway, most of these are lava rocks. Some of these are Lekka, and there is one in acrylic yarn. This was an old cutting that I had taken and I just stuck it in here too, and it seems to be thriving um, finally. But again, I gotta treat this one more time for the mealies because I definitely see more mealies. Not my favorite thing in the world, of course. It's the bane of my existence, but yeah, that's what happens when you have plant babies, right? You've got to deal with the, uh, the illnesses as well. Anyway, if you have any questions on the setup, which is the communal semi-hydro uh, tray or bin, uh, let me know. I will get back to you. And uh, oh yeah, as far as uh, nutrients, like every other plant that I have, whether it's in semi-hydro or anything else, I use either orchid fertilizer or MaxiGrow. I tend to use MaxiGrow a lot more often for the foliage plants, <clears throat> but depending on what's on, on hand, I like the orchid fertilizer, and I say this all the time because the orchid fertilizer that I use has a higher nitrogen content than the maxi grow, which is kind of surprising, but what are you going to do? Um, so yeah, I may actually give this some orchid fertilizer. How do you like that? So that's that. If you have any questions on the medium, on the plants, on the process, um, just reach out. I really should be giving this more light. I should keep it pr pretty much where it is because this gets really good light from this LED. But um, this has this uh, table has other things on it normally, and I cleared it off for this video. But we'll see. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell if you want to be notified anytime I upload a video. And I will see you in the next video.